Okay, so hey guys, um, today I'll, uh, I'll be showing you how to install a um a band a four inch band brake on a fixed wheeled go kart. So here is your sprock your drive wheel. Okay, <clears throat> get up there close. So I've already taken so on your sprocket. Remove these four bolts. One second. So these are the bolts that hold on the sprocket. So look, the sprocket is now removable, but keep that on, because then you won't move. So first, you are going to take, first, you're going to need four lock nut washers. Put those babies on. Put them right onto the sprocket. Get close, Kevin, so, you can, so they can see. Then, you're going to take your band break, your band, your, I mean, uh, sorry, your drum, then you're gonna put it on facing up like this. So line that up. So now it's lined up. So then you're gonna take these four bolts, half inch bolts, make sure they're a lock nut, and make them snug. But I'm gonna use a torque wrench so they're nice and tight. Cause if 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 this falls off, your sprocket will fall off. And if your sprocket fall off falls off, your chain falls off, then you have no wheel. And you're in deep shit. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So we got these on. So now we're going to take a half inch torque wrench. And make sure it's on nice and tight. <clears throat> so there's one. Zoom out just a little bit. Here, let's show that. Here, George. Can I stop? <laughs> you got her. Uh, Two. As you can see, this is uh, an old torque wrench. Show, show it. It's mm. back from the 60s and 70s. It used to be my dad's. He gave it to me. Works well. Still really good. So now look at it now. Come here. So now it's on nice and tight. So it should be well done. So as your wheel turns, there will be this band that when you press on the brakes, will this band will squish will squish around the drum. Show the drum. Will squish around that drum. Okay? So let's get the wheel on now. So fit your wheel on. Um so next you're gonna take your band, then get come over here. You're gonna put your brake rod. Bring closer. You're gonna take your brake rod, and then put it halfway through here. Get close. You're gonna put it halfway through there, and on your brake rod you should have a cotter pin hole. Okay, so you're gonna put a cotter pin in there, and you're gonna. Twist both ends so that they go the opposite direction, and you want to make sure that they're not rubbing against the drum. Okay. Now for the other half. So that's the brake rod one. So here, come on, come on. So a little more left. Perfect. So and then for your other side of the band, you're gonna put it on an anchor pin. Um, you, you might have to weld that. Mine came pre-welded, so it's good. And you're going to have to put a bolt on the other end of it. Make sure you get a low-profile bolt, like thin, because mine was too fat. It was like, mine was too fat, so I had to file it down so it wouldn't rub against my, uh, uh, I wouldn't rub against my sprocket. 
So look, it, it should turn freely without any noises. And there you go. So make sure it's all hundred percent all of this the all of the band, the whole entire band is rubbing against it. So stay there. So once you press on the gas brake, okay, look, look over here, look over here. So when you press on the gas, look now look over there. Look over there. So now now this is without this is try spinning the wheel now. This is with no brakes. Now this is with brakes. Try spinning it now. See it's uncapable spinning because this is rubbing against the brake drum. That's free. So it's good. That's how you want it. So there you go. And then just put your you're just gonna have to put your wheel back on. And Make sure to never put oil on the the, the silver the, the drum. Never ever, because then you you'll have to get a new whole entire setup. Okay, bye.